So I want you to um, to have a look at this border. about the, the present continuous. Mm -hmm. So when we have a lesson about the present continuous, you are going to use the board to explain. You are going to start with the context, which is, or which are the, there are examples. Yeah. It can be a conversation, or a paragraph, or a text. Okay. Then students observe the structure, then you practice, you have to practice, and then they generalize the rule. And if it is a difficult word, because we are talking about present continuous, so they are playing football, basketball, soccer, soccer or um, other, I mean, other hobbies, okay. Sometimes you may have difficult words and you have to explain them, okay. Then there is a role play. So this is all what you are going to teach, but where are you going to write the vocabulary, the structure, example, um, answers, it's it, okay. And if you look at this one, is it organized or not organized? Mm -hmm. It's not organized. It's not organized. Look here. He is playing. Okay? Good. He is, what, what is he is playing? It's a example. example. Yeah. Okay. Good. Example. Exercise is learning. Practice. Basketball. Football, because you are teaching young learners, hand, what are these? Vocabulary, vocabulary words. Yeah. So vocabulary, you have to design another space for them, another part, which will help students to know or to understand that this part is only for difficult words. Okay. Then we have, they are, he is, we are, he, she is, we are. What are these? Yeah, yeah it's the structure, the structure. form. Okay. So some are here and the other are here. Then we have role play. It's another activity. Then we have another lesson, reading, okay. Let me add the one, B to C. Then here we have one, where is it? A is number one. And then we have C is number two. And B is number three. What's this? Correction. And as you see, there is no organization. Which means that when you are teaching a lesson, you take into account vocabulary, exercise, examples, correction, difficult words, um, etc. Okay. So you have to organize them. Now let's erase this one and see how we can use vocabulary, example, correction, etc. So it's a, it's a good idea from the beginning to, to divide the board into. If you have a large, a big board, you can divide into three three parts. If you have a small one, two. Okay. So here for me, I can do like this. Okay. Good. And here, you start with the the date. So Monday. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's just imagine like March. It's a good month, yeah? yeah. <laughs> first. First, etc. Good. Yeah. Then we can start with the unit. Is it unit one, two, three, etc. So unit number one, and you write the name of the unit. Fun, music, health, food, etc. You start with and it's important to use colors. Now let's imagine that you are teaching the, the simple present of the verb to be. Okay. So you can start with examples. And uh, how about the title? The title, good. Oh, the unit. The unit, uh-huh. The title of the lesson. Good. You can put it two brackets. Or if it is in the lesson, no need, okay. But with young learners, it's good to, to add it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Now, here, you can say A, or say James and Laura. 
So hi, how are you? How are you? And here we have hi, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm fine. Good. So James, okay. Um, how are you? How? I'm just. How are you? How old are you? How old are you? Good. Laura. I'm twenty-six. Twenty-six. Good. I'm twenty-six years old. Good. What's this? Context. The context. Good. Here, you can use colors. Okay. To stress the structure, you can put, or you can underline, or you can circle. Are, um, are, is, etc. Okay. Good. Now there is practice. They have to answer. Okay. So look at the colors, example, exercise. And number one is, number two, R, number three, um, okay. Good. Now the, the form, which means the structure, it's, it goes smoothly, okay. The structure, he, she, and, and then. So, he is. I, sorry, no, you are, and then we have I. Is there something wrong? Huh? It's okay? Good. All right. Now, when you are teaching, you may have some difficult words, like flying a, a kite. Flying a kite, okay. Students may not know it, okay. You can write it here, for example, okay. You can say, Another color, difficult words. Or draw. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. So. Good. Um, football. Fishing, okay. These are some difficult words you you um you're right there because students will learn in your class that the top part on your right hand is for difficult words. And here this part you can talk about exceptions or something very important. If you think there is something very interesting, very important you can add it the back or bottom on your uh, right hand. For example like uh, homework. Uh huh. Yeah. Page six. Good. It's an interesting idea. Okay. Home work. Exercise thirteen. Page eighty-seven. Okay. Good. Now, as you see here, the the board is well organized. There are colors, well structured. Vocabulary here, homework is here, correction, okay, the structure, okay. Once you finish, say, now copy your lessons. Five minutes, start and write all the lessons. And it's like a habit, you teach them to do the same, okay. All the time, you start with the example, practice, structure. When we say practice, there's also correction. Difficult words here, homework. Um, assignment, something interesting, you write it here. You have your own, um, I mean, you have the choice, you can design your board as you like, but it must be obvious and clear. Now, a question? Yes, yeah, sure. we, we don't have to start uh, to, to write all, all, the, all the lesson at the same time. Good. Yeah. Uh, so, the students? Yeah, no, no, the teacher. Yeah. Teacher, uh, you shouldn't uh, write all the, the lesson. All the lesson. No, no, it's not all of it. Okay. You, start, you start with the examples, you explain the, the lesson, yeah, uh, you erase, uh, you erase uh, the examples, uh, you, and then you move to the next, uh, to the next yes. step. Step. Yes. Uh, it depends again on the age of learners, young, young learners, adult. Okay. 
If you are teaching uh, adult students, it's good even though in the textbook they have got the examples. But it's good to choose three or four and you write it here. Because once they are going to revise their, their cup, they are using their cups of books, they will have examples, okay? For example, you have, um, you have a conversation about the verb to be. You can just choose sentences. I am James, you are Muhammad, he is Katharina. Okay. And you write it here. Then the practice and the rule. You, you don't, there is no need to, to, to write everything. Yeah. You write what is important, but correction on the board. Yes. Either you invite students to correct, or if you have time, you can, you can just tell students to correct and you write it quickly on, on the board. Yeah. Uh, from your, uh, your experience, uh, do you think uh, uh, transmission from your black board to white board is it easier? For the teacher? Yeah, it's uh, blackboard to, to whiteboard. Yeah, uh, today um, in some schools you have both. Yeah. You have this one is white and the wings are black. But for me, using the marker, very easy. Okay, using so the chalk, a lot of. And the dust. And, well. yeah, and the dust, yeah. You see? So using the whiteboard is a, is a good idea. It's easy for teachers, especially when it's. When you write. Okay, now let's go back to these two. So you, you agree the first one is missing. Yes. No organization. Even the writing, the handwriting is not clear. Yeah, it's like a, a doctor who is writing. The second one is well organized. well organized. Look here, this part for vocabulary, new words. Okay, then something very important here. When you say kite, football, fishing, New word. is it N? No. 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 Good. Very important. It's a very much B. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the learner. With young learners, step no. by step. Adults, you can even talk about the function. So you tell them this is a noun, a noun, a noun. Don't write a noun, okay? Just yeah. symbols, yeah. abbreviation, yeah. and they learn from that. Sir? Yes. This is, this is a game. The hand. The hand it's is a game. At the end, is a game. Yeah. It's like a production stage. Okay. And look here at the, the structure. You? Yeah, yeah, you underline or you serve the structure to help students observe that is the form of the passive voice. Okay, which is the verb to be plus past participle. Okay. So now it's clear that the white board must be well organized, taking into account vocabulary, uh, writing examples, correction, homework, etc. So before starting the writing, you have to put it here. Okay, how I'm going to divide, design my white board from the very beginning. Okay, and it's in your lesson plan, you know the vocabulary where to write it, which one, which one is the first, you said with an example or with the rule or with the correction. It's it. So when you organize from the very beginning, you help yourself and your students. Now, C, grading language, grading. Can someone read the, the introduction? Yes, please. Uh, one of the most important things that teachers have to learn is how to adjust their language to make it appropriate for different groups of learners, particularly lower level learners. Good. So, here's something very important at the end. Especially lower level learners. Now, you may have two classes. You may teach in the morning from, from 8 to 10. Yes. Young learners and from 10 to 12 advanced students. Yes. Okay. You see, grading is very important. Or you may teach lower level learners from 8 to 10 and then from 10 to 12 <coughs> high level learners or advanced. So here you should know how to switch the use of the language you use must be according to each level. We will talk about instructions, we will talk about explanations, etc. So with low levels, you simple language. Yeah. 
be very simple again. And speak slowly. With high levels, it's okay. So grade is, 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 uh, is very important to know about. And here we have uh, read the sentences and check. How many sentences do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But you have to tick five sentences that offer good advice. So we have seven, but only five that have got good advice. And cross out the other two sentences. The two ones are not good. They are not providing good um, advice. Then compare your ends with a partner. Okay. So I'm going to give you three minutes. You work alone. Once you finish, you can play with your partner. Okay? Yes.